The same pattern from the time Adam was created until today. Know the work. Look up here. Some people are looking down. Look up here. You see who I'm talking to. This is the Lord speaking to you. <laughs> is anybody hearing me? You are hearing the word of the Lord. The only pattern, the only pattern you know. Something has to change. And let it be. We talked about exciting. Somebody say exciting. I didn't mean monotonous. Since you marry, what have you added to your sexual life? What new method? What new pattern? How you change them? And must sex be something that you fix a date in the month you do? It's something you get up and do. The way on the look me. It's something you, you, don't, you don't have to put a date on the calendar. So we're, going, we're going to do it on Thursday by 10 p.m. Turn the fire equation. The woman enter bedroom. The shower is running. And the man enter the room and look at her. I want to enter shower. He said, No, I'm not ready. Ready for what? I told you the other time, somebody said that I am not in the mood. I said, when I married you, I paid for mood. <laughs> Part of diary, did, did they not give you diary breakdown? Part of diary breakdown is uh, eh, mood 2000. <laughs> I paid for mood. <laughs> you must always be on the mood. Is anybody hearing me here? To... And please look up here. I know many of you have gone to many churches and had all kinds of religious garbage. Inside their bedroom, anything is allowed. As long as it's between you and your wife, there's no sexual method that is wrong. If it's your bedroom and it's between you and your wife, it's allowed. They were both naked, the man and his wife, and they were not ashamed. Uh, it's all right, it's part of it, yes. And I needed to answer that so that you can hear. Because pastors, they bend their mouth. <laughs> you know, I don't believe it. If you don't believe that, that's why your home is messed up. Go to your house and let it be nice. And every sex doesn't have to be a full sex. Sometimes it's just that you are going out and it has to be one minute bam. <laughs> I, have to, I have to go and say that. They know they hear me again. Are they here? <laughs> Enjoy your home. <laughs> I think I think I've saved people here. This is the Holy Ghost speaking to somebody. Your home is okay now. Glory to God.